my name is Bernard Sfez and I'm a Tiki specialist. As the weather is just fine here for the season, I thought it would be nice to let the sun shine in through your screen by doing this video outside today. I hope people in need for some warm sun will virtually Well, I know, I know, I know, I kept a lot of people hanging and waiting since my previous video. It was only technical. I was waiting for Spotlight I ordered to improve the quality, but as it happens sometime with eBay, it's taking more time than I predicted. And I'm still waiting for them. So thank you for all the support and encouraging messages to keep on publishing video tutorial about Tiki. Don't worry, I will, at least till next summer. That's the plan for now. So in this Tiki Express tutorial, I'll give you the maximum tips I can about Tiki administration. Those tips will be helpful for Tiki beginners, but may also reveal some nice tricks to advanced users. Some you will use on a regular basis and some that when things are not working as expected. In this video, I'll show you how to set and use the quick admin module, what you can find in the admin bar menu, how to turn on advanced settings and save them, how to use the admin search preferences, how to check permission for different users and adjust them, uh, what to do when things are not working as expected, and a super quick view about Tiki Check. I say that a thousands of times, but in Tiki there are really several ways to do the same thing, and this is also true when comes time to administrate your Tiki. There is no right way or bad way, there is just the way you feel good with and will help you to set up things quickly and the right way. Uh, and if you have a tiki trick that I didn't show here to help people, uh, just share, uh, post it in the comments and uh, everyone will enjoy that. On my screen, you can see a fresh tiki just installed from scratch where everything has been set by default and of course, I'm already logged as admin. In the menu, select settings and the item control panels. And here we are on the main admin page. You can find here all the available co control panels and get to many preference pages. The general panel, the features panel, the file gallery panel we already reviewed in previous tutorial and many other panels available as you enable the corresponding feature. So far, so good. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the quick admin module that is very useful and used by many Tiki pros. Not that it is possible that depending on the version of your Tiki, you don't have this panel enabled by default. And that's why I want to show you how to assign it in case you don't see it on the top of the header. It is already installed in my Tiki, so I will just unassign it and reassign it quickly for you to see. I go to the settings menu, to the modules item, and go for the quick admin. Under the branch, on the actions menu, and assign it. To assign it back from the module page, I click on the add module button. I select the quick administration module. I click on the module options. And on the groups field, I select admins, so only admins will see it. To keep it tiny, I go to the tab appearance, and on the no box setting, I put just a yes, a Y for your S. Rewind a bit and back to the home page. At the top of the header, you can see those two icons, a clock and a chevron. They will be available now on every page. The chevron will reveal the quick administration menu where you can find links to the most used features like users administration page, or action like clearing cages. Under the clock icon, you'll find the last preferences that were changed. It will keep populate and will record automatically the preferences and options that are changed on this sticky. Back to the admin main page, you can see at the top the admin bar, where you can find a lot of useful comments, access to pages, panels, and preferences access. On the left side of the admin bar, you'll find a switch that will toggle between the basic mode and the advanced mode. The basic mode will show you the minimum and essential preferences for beginners, and the second mode, the advanced mode, will give you access to the advanced preferences of your Tiki. Once you switch to the advanced mode, 
it reveals a preferences filter where you can see more than the basic and advanced mode. Select what is relevant for you and click on the set as my default button so your choice will be saved. On the admin bar, you'll find also a fast access when you divide into access, content, system and tools. Just a quick flyover, but it's really something for you to discover. On the left side, the admin search preference form. My favorite, always here to help me to find my way through the thousands of options and preferences in Tiki. Let's do an easy search on time zone. From the result panel, you can set preference directly or navigate to the page or the panel where the preference you searched for is set. Here I go to the general panel where I can see the setting I was looking for plus other related settings that I may need to set at the same time. Having a way to get to the main panel for the term you searched for is very useful when you are looking for something more generic like title. Of course, there are a lot of results in many areas for this word, but with the panel name link, I can go to the specific preference I'm looking for. Please note that by default, the MySQL engine of your server, if you are using this engine, is limited to look for strings longer than three characters only. So don't look for URL, for example, it won't work. By the way, if you have the feeling the results of a search are incomplete, rebuild admin index is always a good idea. You can find it in the filter preference menu. That's it for this part. Another thing that is a regular matter of concern for Tiki admin is about what different users can see or can't see. As admin, you will always see everything. But you have users and you may want them to see different sections or different content. An easy win is to use two different browsers with two different users. Let me show you that one. Here on this Firefox window, I'm logged as admin and I will edit the home page. I delete everything. And using the wiki help system for plugin, I set a group plugin where the member of the admins group will see one content, while anonymous will see a different content. Saving my edit. So on Firefox, where I'm logged as admin, I see the right content for admins. To check what anonymous users will see now, I switch to my second browser and refresh the page. Of course, this is not limited to admins and anonymous, and you can simulate with any users, members of a group or another. Using that simple method, you will be able to see, test and compare differences between groups and users. Sometimes your Tiki doesn't act as expected. You may change something in the preference and still not be able to see a result that reflects the changes. If something like this happens, a good reflex is to clear Tiki Cache. Available from many places, of course, as it is very, very used. A lot of the content you see in Tiki as well as the search result depend on the unified index of your Tiki. You should refresh and recreate it from time to time to assure for your Tiki to show an up-to-date content. Visit the Tiki documentation for more information, but keep in mind that it is healthy to re-index your content regularly. You can find the command to refresh the index in the quick admin menu or the search panel. Other PHP tools were added to Tiki to help admins and to check your server yield. Server Check is a standalone script to produce diagnostics and report on your server environment or variables. It can be used on an existing Tiki installation or before installing Tiki. It is very useful for any PHP app and check over 50 different things and provide contextual feedback.
PHP Info is also available from the setting menu. It displays and reviews information about the current state of your PHP. Thanks for watching this Tiki Express tutorial. And again, I hope you learned something that will help you using and setting your Tiki. If you find that video useful, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your comments are very important and they help me to improve and to find topics for future videos. Dear Dale, I didn't forget your wish about a Tiki Banner tutorial, as well as several requests for videos about trackers and the plugin list. Those are coming soon and with the new spotlight I'm waiting for. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.